Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. I'm fantastic. And what about you? And thank you for asking. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always fantastic as like you. So thanks for asking me too. So how's your day going so far? It's a little bit hectic today because uh -huh. I have to do a lot of things. So that's why a little bit hectic now. Okay, I'm perfectly okay. Yeah. Oh, sounds good. Okay. So as we are meeting for the first time, so would you mind yeah. introducing yourself, please? Sure, sure, sure. I'm Ajita. I hail from Kerala. I'm basically a teacher, a YouTuber. Apart from that, I'm a baker too. I live with my family, my husband, two grown-up sons, both are working professionals. That's all about me, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear about you. So where do you live in Kerala? Which district? Kotem, Kotem. Kotem, okay. That's great to hear. So as you told me that you are a teacher, so what do you teach? Do you teach in a school? Do you teach from your home? How is that? No, no. I'm not working any particular institution. I have my own tuition center. So I have been working as a teacher for almost 20 years. So I have to take all the subject because I have students from all the classes, even higher secondary. So that's why, yeah. Okay, so you teach everything to them. All subjects, social yeah. science, science, mathematics, English. Yeah, definitely. Malayalam as well, right? Yeah, Hindi, Hindi also. Oh, Hindi also. Okay, that's good. So how's your experience being a tuition teacher? It's been 20 years, so it's a long period. Do you enjoy teaching? Do you yeah. Are you a passion teacher? Yeah, I'm really enjoying my profession, this profession, because I am... Sometimes maybe my parents are were also teachers, so that's why. But I'm this is my passion, teaching, and also of course English. <laughs> so oh, that's you why like I, English. So good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And second thing you told me about yourself that you are a baker too. So what do you do for bakery? Do do you have a small business? Yeah, first of all, I don't have a bakery. <laughs> I'm a homemaker. That is, I make cakes in my home. Okay, so okay, um, so you like making cakes. Yeah, this is yeah. your hobby. Yeah, yeah, hobby, and also I learned uh, cake making from YouTube before pandemic. So nowadays, I I have sold uh, I think four hundred or five hundred cakes. Especially my specialty is birthday cakes. I make different types of different designs of uh, birthday cakes according to the customer's interest. Yeah. Yes, That's all. exactly. So as you said, you sold more than uh, 400 or 500 uh, cakes. So means yeah. you are doing something. It's You are self-employed and you are selling cakes yeah. whenever you get yeah. orders. Yeah, definitely you need a license too. If you uh, do something, especially food business, uh, you have a license. So I also took a license. Then I sold these things. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful to know. So now coming to your place, as you said, you are from Code Time. So tell me something about this district specifically. Specifically, I know about Kerala, but tell me like how is Code Time and what are the things which are really special in Code Time and tourist okay. places and many things. Yeah, of course. Uh, Code Time is uh, actually southern uh, place of uh, district of Kerala. So I live in a, um, a plain space. I live in a mid middle. I think middle. Okay, and so you, you know the geography of Kerala because there are so many hill, hilly areas that is mountainous places, places yeah. coastal areas, yeah. and of course plain areas too. So I live in a plain area. So here uh, the speciality of Kottayam is uh, rubber trees. They are all rubber mm -hmm. farmers. Okay, so you can see so many rubber trees around here, and also of course paddy fields in my home surrounded with the paddy fields. Okay. Oh, that's so, great. It's a small district. That, that, that means, you know, uh, bigger than other uh, districts. So, yeah, that's all about. Yeah. Okay. So, means you, Kotam is a plain district. That's why you are able to grow paddy there. Same yeah. like us, because I'm from Uttar Pradesh. So, it's a totally plain agricultural state. So, we grow paddy, wheat, all those crops. So same yeah. there in Kotim. And as you said, another thing about Kotim,
that it is a small district, right? Yeah. And yeah. it falls under the southern Kerala, right? And, and rubber trees, yeah, I have seen uh, rubber trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first place in literacy. In all the district uh -huh. court is the first place in literacy. Oh, Lit so Kerala is the one of the best states in India, and Kottam is the one of the best districts in Kerala in literacy. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great thing, okay. And Robert is, uh, yes, I, uh, Josh Mohan, sir, he's from Cochin, Kerala. He showed me rubber trees uh, in his place. So I, I, I have seen rubber trees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also you can see uh, so many coconut trees, plantains, tapioca. Our staple food is tapioca. Our breakfast is tapioca. <laughs> Tapioca yeah, and so fish tell me something about tapioca. Joshmohan sir told me once, but I forgot that. He used to tell me that he has uh, just, he, he used to have this tapioca in breakfast, boiled tapioca, whatever it is. So tell me something, how's that? Actually, it's a tuber family, tuber. It's, a, uh, it's grow under the soil, right? So it's a uh, tuber family, tapioca, yam, something like that. So tapioca mostly... Uh, you want to know how to uh, make it? How to make as yes. cuisine? Yeah, okay. how to eat. Mm -hmm. so, uh, cuisine using tapioca. First one is you can simply uh, cut it into pieces and just boil it. Uh, oh, or in okay. And just uh, you have it, uh, have it. Okay. So the second thing is you add more, more grinded coconut, chili, oh. and so onion, uh, garlic. Spices. <laughs> Taste more good, right? So, yeah, uh, yeah, it looks different from other cuisine, right? Okay, so how's the taste of tapioca? If you eat boiled tapioca, tapioca how's the taste? Is it sweet, a little bitter, or it's tasteless? Not, it's not so, in the middle of this, a little bit sweet. You can uh, feel a little bit sweet, that's it. Not, uh, but it's not good for diabetic patients. It's not, not good for diabetic patients. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I got it. So that's all about Code Tim and your place. Okay. So now coming to another questions related to your hobbies. So now it is what do you like to do whenever you get free time? Oh, my hobbies are totally changed nowadays. But when I was in college days, I was a voracious reader because not in English books, but in Malayalam books. But nowadays, I change to a good listener nowadays because I don't have that much time to read a book because I have to do a lot of things. And if you read a book, you have some patience, right? And also you have exactly. to concentrate. So that two things right. are missing nowadays. So that's why I think listening is good for me. So I am a good listener. Whenever I have free time, I just listen, 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 only English podcasts. Nowadays, I started to listen to conversational videos to your videos also. You are very famous on YouTube, famous person on YouTube, Ashidosh. So, first of all, congratulations. I don't really think so. Thank you. But thank oh, you. Okay. I also, yeah, I have also watching your videos as much as well. And also, some videos are very interesting. Conversational videos, you can learn so many things um, how to use in a co daily conversation. So these are right. the hobbies nowadays. <laughs> oh, that's great to hear. So now another question goes to you related to spoken English. That why did you start learning English? What was the need for you? Because uh, I already said that I'm, I was so much passionate towards this language. So much love towards this language since my childhood. But at that time, I didn't get that much opportunity to learn more. And don't know how to reach that fluency. Okay. And schools are not give that much importance to speaking. They always give importance to writing and reading. That's all. Exactly. So nowadays, my responsibilities are, I think, almost complete. Not fully. Almost complete. And my two sons are working. So I get more time. Okay. And so now I think I want to work on my passion. So that's why I, yeah. Um, so this is your passion. You want to improve your English because since childhood, you have this thing in your mind that you would like to speak good English, right? Okay. So another question goes to you. That is, what 
did you do to improve your English and what do you do nowadays to be, uh, level up your English? Adiba, I just listening. Listening and also... You do listening. What about speaking practice? Uh, do you speak uh, with the people frequently? Uh, I joined this Skype app, I think, in a couple of months back. Before that, uh, before I, I do something, I communicate with my students. Started communicating with my students too. Then my sons are here. They are only here for on, only on weekends. So I also started communicating with my sons too sometimes. And that's it. Then no. Okay. Listening. So you do listening and you try to speak with your yeah. sons, with your students, and sometimes with the people on Skype, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what about your sons? Where are they working? Any other city in Kerala or any other state? No, no, they are working in Ernagula. Ernagula, oh, Info Park. Ah, ah, Info Park. Elder one is in IBM. He is working as a software engineer and the younger one is TCS. He is okay. also so, but, yeah, software but both, both are, are working in Cochin, yeah, Kerala. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. And what about your husband? Like, what he husband does? From a private firm. He he He's was a private? from a private firm, and he's also doing. He's also have a YouTube channel, but all about oh, politics. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how long have he he has been running a YouTube channel? He has been, I think, eight or nine years. Oh my goodness, it's been really long. So how many yeah. subscribers he has right now? He He's more focused on, focused on Facebook. Facebook. Okay, so he has a Facebook page. Money from Facebook. He started earning some money from Facebook. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. So tell me something about your YouTube channel. When did you start and why did you start and how... You are growing as a YouTuber. What do you upload um, there? Yeah, because my passion towards English, I started my channel. And there are two goals behind it. First one, my passion. Second one, I want to share uh, my knowledge, that is English or English words, to another aspirants. There are uh, people who more wanted to uh, improve their uh, fluency. So that is the second goal. Okay, and I started a couple of years back, but the thing is, I'm not consistent in between because I take, I took two or three months break. So you know, YouTube never promote you if you are, if you are exactly consistent. consistency matters a lot on YouTube. You have to be consistent. If you're not able to upload a lot of videos in a week, but at least do once in a week or maybe two videos in a month. So consistency matters a lot. Otherwise, your channel is going to be freeze. You have to work hard again to come back to that. Yeah, nowadays I try, try my best to upload videos in a daily basis. So yeah. yeah. That's good. But YouTube is good. Uh, I would say if you do not get a lot of views and subscribers, but it's okay, but you get confidence. You become better as a speaker when you record yourself. Yeah. So for improvement, YouTube is so good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because of YouTube, we achieve this fluency and also we are connecting through, right? These resources are, exactly. we are all blessed with these resources, right? The early exactly. days, uh, we had never access these resources. Nowadays, we have Facebook, everything. So we can connect people from different parts of India and also different parts of the world. So that is also, mm. yeah, all blessed. Uh, yes, exactly. It's only happening due to technology. Okay. So now another question goes to you related to traveling. Have you ever visited North India? No, 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 no. It's my bucket list. No, no, never. Okay. Traveling. You want to visit North India. Where yeah. do you want to visit? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> In the future. Okay. So which state you would love to visit? Uttarakhand is there, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Delhi, Madhya Pradesh. Yeah, yeah I would like to visit here, Delhi, Uttarakhand, Kashmir, and also oh, wow. like to Himalaya. I'm a, I am a nature person. I love nature. So, okay. yeah. 
Yeah. So have you vi visited uh, South Indian states? Apart, yeah. like I would say yeah. Karnataka, uh, yeah. Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana. Yeah. I never visited Andhra Pradesh, but I have visited uh, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Bangalore. Okay, basically. Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Okay, that's good. So, do you like a city? Do you like Chennai? Have you been to Chennai? Do you like Chennai as a city or <laughs> Bangalore? <laughs> In my school days, <laughs> there was an excursion tour, school tour. So, I visited okay. Chennai. But, yeah. Okay. I'm and and what about? I was in the ninth standard. That's all. Oh, so it's been really long. So, what about uh, Cochin? Did you visit have, Cochin recently? I have visited so many times Cochin because my sons are there. So okay, yeah. Okay, so tell me something about Cochin as a city. Do you like Cochin or do you like your own place? I like Cochin, but the traffic is. <laughs> yeah. If you don't like traffic, that you wouldn't like Delhi as well. Delhi is yeah, too crowded, so overloaded with people and vehicles. Especially in the morning time, that is the office time or school time, our vehicle will move in just like an ant or in a tortoise. Exactly. It's wow. very difficult to go out in morning hours and in the evening hours. You can go out in the afternoon, it's little okay. But in Delhi also, it's the same. Big cities, Delhi also, a lot of people are from all around the country. So that's why I'm yeah. asking you. But Cochin is also a good city, I would say. Comparison to Delhi in Mumbai, if you would say, Cochin is Cochin. better because it's not that much crowded. Yeah, yeah. But uh, nowadays, uh, no, metro is also here. So the traffic is a little bit better, comfortable. Okay. Oh, okay. And so we can travel to metro sometimes. Yeah. Kochi, the specialty of Kochi is you can see the backwaters and also see oceans. And uh, yeah, then but uh, you can um, taste so many um, different types of fish, pussies, different types of fish. Okay. You, like, you like it? You are a vegetarian? No, I'm a pure, no, yes, I'm a vegetarian guy, so I don't oh. like fish. <laughs> But I like vegetarian dishes. I like South Indian breakfast, idli, dosa, all these things I like. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's it. And also, these are the mm -hmm. specialties of Kochi. That's it. Yeah. But I exactly. like I like Kotai. Yeah, Kotai is your, I would say, your house. You have feelings, memories, and it's quite, I would say, it's not crowded like Kochi, right? So that is always important, and your own place is always special. But this is not my native place. I originally from Palakkad. Palakkad. This is my husband. Oh, Palakkad. Yeah. Yes, it is your in law. But now it's your house. You can say right yeah. because you have been living here for many years. So you got your whole family here: your kids, your husband, your in-laws. So, but yeah. your native place is Palakkad, right? Palakkad is a more beautiful than Kota. Palakkad okay. is more beautiful than Kottayam because so many paddy fields, just like an ocean. You can see all the surrounded uh -huh. with uh, yeah paddy so fields. So Palakkad is also a plain uh, district. Yeah, yeah, plain area. Oh, Palakkad. And yeah. when what about Wayanad? Is it in southern Kerala? Something happened uh, in Wayanad. A lot of people died. Landslide. Uh, yeah, uh, it is a northern. Part of Kerala. Northern Kerala, okay. And also, uh, it's a hilly region, mountainous region. So it's prone to mm. uh, landslide earthquake because the soil is not stable because of humans, <laughs> unscientific activities of humans. Exactly. Uh, That's why many mm. people died in these yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, Okay. So, so now, mm -hmm. do you have any question for me as well? Do you want to ask something to me? Okay. Uh, I, I think next session I, I want to collect more questions towards you. Okay. So, yes, yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay. So, I want to prepare okay. more questions for you. Okay. Okay. Thank so you so much, ma'am. It was really nice talking to you. I enjoyed the conversation and I enjoyed your plays. You told me everything about Kotim or Kochin. So, of course, Kerala is a beautiful state, 
beautiful state in all around the country i would say if i would compare kashmir kerala all these uttarakhand all these states are beautiful uh, okay. i really like i have seen videos and i like that place some people directly come to kerala they don't want to go to north india because it's over crowded but south and if i would say especially kerala it's not too much crowded so and i i want to ask you one question you are a senior person that is you are a big uh, uh, famous person on uh, youtube and you are an experienced person so can you give me my feedback my speaking is feedback what you can work on try to speak as much as you can try to work on that mti a bit remove uh, that mother tongue influence that actually i would say malayalam tone is there and we have to we should not have that malayalam tone while speaking english right and and that also just one uh, suggestions for you nodding do not nod your head a lot okay means be stable when you look at me i'm not nodding many times right so for okay. being a youtuber it is very important you have to be stable you need a good quality video also uh, because i have listened to many uh, maybe i would say comedians they make fun of south indians they nod a lot they say like they nod a lot yes yes okay 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 they say the same thing for the three times do not repeat the same sentence also i have seen many people from south india they say they would not say okay they would say okay 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 fine 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 so that is irritating and that's not good for this english language you can stress on one word and you can say yes okay thank you so and focus on this this is mainly the one thing which i would say you have to focus a lot that be stable focus on your po posture while speaking do not nod a lot nod a lot your head up and down or just in left and right do it like simply mm -hmm. okay respond from the words sorry thank you for your valuable feedback i definitely follow that and it's a really nice conversation with you i really enjoy a lot thank you so much yeah pleasure mine okay bye bye take care man it's really bye -bye. nice talking to you